Hello, Crafty friends. It's Erica, Scraptiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today because I purchased a new sewing machine. Um, I was having some issues with my brother's project runway sewing machine. Um, I have to go and take it to get repaired. I don't know what's going on with it. For whatever reason, the bobbin won't um, allow me to thread my bobbin and then the pedal won't even make the needle move up and down. So I don't know what's going on with it. It's probably um, something to do with the um, electric or not, or the digital aspect of that sewing machine. I'm not really sure, but I'm too impatient to wait on getting it fixed. So I went to Walmart and I actually had to go to two Walmarts. The first Walmart that I went to, sewing machine section, completely empty. There was not one single sewing machine for sale. The second Walmart I went to, um, and I was just looking for something inexpensive, just something cheap that'll do a few stitches, not, nothing fancy. So the second Walmart I went to, they had this one sewing machine and this is it and I bought it. And it was, um, I think it was $99.99, so it was basically $100. Um, this one is a Singer and it's just a simple Singer sewing machine. And um, you guys, it's just basic. It has, um, 29 stitches there is this little dial right here where you're able to move these different stitches obviously they have like the zigzag stitch and straight stitch and all of that um which i love and those are like kind of like the basic stitches that i like to use are on this little simple machine so happy with that the bobbin works i already tested it out it sews um, very nicely um, I just wanted to show you some of the stitches that I was playing with. As you can see, there are several different ones and it's perfect for what I want to do. I even like this little small, like little wavy stitch right there. I thought that was kind of cute. I'll get it a little closer so you guys can see. But um, there's, you know, obviously lots of different stitches, but I was just kind of having fun playing with it. So I did that and then I was playing with pink. I wanted to make sure that the bobbin was working and I could change out the thread and it's so simple to do. Um, it does come with like this quick start guide right here and it basically shows you everything you need to do to thread your sewing machine, thread the bobbin, all of that good stuff. It's super, super simple. So if you're looking for a basic sewing machine, I would highly recommend this. And I just bought it. I didn't even like read all the features, but when I got home, I realized that it actually has um, some really cool features. Like it actually has the automatic um, needle threader, which I have on my brother and I absolutely love. And I think if you're gonna get a basic sewing machine, definitely get, get it with that option because that is just so helpful when you're threading your needle for your thread. Um, down here it has that automatic threader and it also comes with like an LED light over here so it lights up so you're able to see your um, workspace which is really nice this part does come off in case you're wondering and it has like a little case that you can keep your little bobbins or whatnot in there um, and it does come with a bag of basic sewing options so you get like the um, like the zipper stitch pedal and all of those little bits and pieces that typically come with the sewing machines, you do get those. Um, what else does it come with? Um, it does have the drop and sew bobbin, so um, that just pops off and then you're able to just drop your bobbin in right there, wind it, similar to the Brother, um, which I thought was really nice. So I'm really pleased, it's simple to thread, it's simple to use, it has 29 stitches, more than enough stitches that you will ever need to sew on paper. That's basically what I'm using it for. Um, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on and share that I did get this. Um, I guess it's gonna be like my backup machine. Like I said, I am going to get my brother repaired. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what I did, <laughs> um, but um, I'm gonna find out and figure it out, but I am going to keep my brother. So I wanted to share that in case you're in the market for a sewing machine. And then I'm just gonna kind of slide this off to the side. Um, while I was at Walmart, I did find this little sewing kit and I just thought it was cute and it keeps all of the little sewing, um, you know, threads in one little container and then you get a rainbow 
of colors. We basically get every color, you know, brights and pastels, and then you get some smaller ones on the bottom. It says it's a 224 piece kit, everything you need in one case. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and grabbed it. You even get some scissors and obviously the storage case tape or storage case um you get a pin cushion seam ripper tape measure needle threaders um six snap fasteners you get safety pins ball head pins um 18 threads of spool um 15 bobbins so it all goes with the singer it is the singer brand so that's why i just went ahead and picked it up since i purchased the singer um sewing machine so anyway i just wanted to come on quickly and share that um I don't know if you're gonna be able to find this sewing machine in your stores. Um, I would highly suggest checking online. I even looked on Amazon and I saw a couple on Amazon, but Amazon is selling them for I think $170. I think that's what I saw when I looked at it this morning. So it's $70 more than what I purchased it at Walmart. But if you go to walmart.com, it's even more money. So I don't know, I would highly suggest shopping around, but I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you just wanna check out the details um, of this sewing machine. Um, yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys are having a great crafty day. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.